Hi guys, it's T-Bone Pearson here, and I'm working on some real estate videos in Final Cut Pro X. Um, so as you can see, I have two different house videos here. Uh, this is uh, out in the suburbs a bit, and this one here is right downtown. And I just wanted to render this video. Um, so in Premiere Pro, which I use all the time, uh, you use something like, a, it's called a time bar, and you just select on the top what you want to render. But in Final Cut Pro X, it's a little different. So this is what you do if you just want this video and not this part. Um, so you go to Range Selection, and you just highlight um, the portions uh, that you want to render. So basically, because I selected this clip, um, it'll just render this and anything above it, uh, which was confusing at first. Um, I thought I had to select all of the clips to render. So let's give this a shot and see how it works. Uh, so let's go up to File, Share, Export File 1, and let's have a look here. So this is going to show us that it's rendering just the portion we want. So it's going to tell us what file size it is, it's 700, th sorry, 378, let's go to settings. Um, now this is, the resolution is 1920 by 1080, but my video is 4K, so how do we change that? Um, da, 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 da. Um, I might be okay with it being HD, let's cancel and have a look. Oh, maybe because the first video was in HD. I suspect. Um, and let's go to, let's see, how do we change the settings? Berkey, berkey, ber. Uh, modify. You know, I might just be cool with it being 1080p. I believe you'd have to change the settings for the project, and I may then have to scale the clips up. Um, Let's see. Well, let's have a look here. Where I know where it is in Premiere, but where is it here? Preferences. Hmm. Maybe up in the project settings here. There it is. There. 1080p HD. How do I change that? I do not new. I do new. Uh, how do you change that? Uh, anyways, whatever. <laughs> I'm good, 1080p is fine. So let's select this again. Okay, let's go back here and let's share, export file one. And let's render to desktop and we'll call this uh, in town. And let's render it out, save. Okay, now uh, I don't know if I've talked about this, but on Premiere Pro, you'll see a uh, indication bar that tells you how long you have to go before the video is rendered. In Final Cut Pro X, you just go to Window and you go to Background Tasks, and it will show us that we are at five percent. Um, so there we go. Um, yeah, so that's how it's done, and you will just have the selection that you did there, just the range using the range selection tool. Anyways, guys, that's just a quick tip. Uh, I will talk to you guys later. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later.